All right, Dinwiddie and I found a horse trough up here in the mountains. And look at that, I got a coin. Looks to me like it's a weedy for sure. Let me do some scraping, I'll see if I can get a date. 1944, so like Dinwiddie just said, we're in the silver range. Let's do this. So there's Dinwiddie below this tree. Look how high that birdhouse is. <laughs> that thing must have been there forever. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so I've been digging a bunch of chains and junk. I got another coin. Uh, dude. This is going to be some really old Canadian. I don't know about really old, but yeah, that's silver, baby. Oh, that's so awesome. Let me uh, see if I can get a date off this thing. I had to get out my, my little magnifier because I thought my eyes were tricking me, which aren't very good anymore. Oh, this says 1890 on it. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's not in the greatest shape, but uh, yeah, I'll get a couple picks. Okay, this is just crazy. I have another coin. What is it? Oh, no way. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes. Oh. No way. That is so amazing. It's a Nazi coin. Swastika and everything. 1941. Ah. I can't believe this. I don't know anything about it. There's an A. I don't know if that's a mint mark. Dang, let me get you some close-ups. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, that's just crazy. I mean, Nazi coin in Montana. Now, that's something you don't see a lot of. Obviously, I'm not excited because I love Nazis, but this is just amazing. Yeah. So cool. Very pretty coin. Man, I like digging some of these big iron signals. Look at that thing. Crazy. Well, I'm just working the road. Kind of right next to where this trough is. And I got a super bent weedy. <laughs> Looks like it's from the 20s. So, looks like we're uh, starting with a wheat, ending with a wheat. What'd you get, Dinwiddie? <laughs> Two hole button <laughs> and a bunch of junk. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this was way more successful than I ever expected. Just a little horse trough in the middle of the mountains. And the spot we were we went to just didn't pan out. So we just took off and searched some new areas and we found this. And we're like, yeah, let's just give it a try. Yeah, sometimes it pays just to swing. Awesome. All right, Dinwiddie and I were at a, an old site. The cool thing is, well, not cool, but a, a fire came through here last year and freed up a bunch of this land. So we didn't even know that this, this building site was right here. Dinwiddie's been up here just killing it. I don't know if it's a rosette or a big button. And Rosette, he's got an extra heavy suspender. Some escutcheon pieces. Wait a minute. He lost whatever his good thing is. Well, if I did, I'll be mad. <laughs> These won't be hard to find. I just don't know where I stuck it. Look at that. <laughs> it's compact or pocket watch back. Can't tell. I think it's a pocket watch back. It was pretty. 
Yeah, unfortunately I see copper, but that's a nice gold plating. Yeah. Somebody's initials or something etched. I can or maybe it's a, just a I don't know if it's design or initials. It almost looks like initials, but you can't really tell with it dirty. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. Getting the fight. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it says Clark. I don't know. Nov Company or November, maybe. Rochester, New York. Some sort of some sort of turn on. Maybe one of you guys knows exactly what it's to. It's cool though. Well, I just got a reed. I don't know if it's off like a pump organ or what. But that's cool. Well, I'm getting into a bunch of these reeds. I probably won't show them all to you. All right, I haven't seen what this is yet. It looks like I got a real nice suspender clip here. Oh, there it is. Shirley President, one of my faves. Dinwiddie's coming with something too. This place is just loaded. Patent date 1872. Dang. Well, I guess you're digging all the small stuff. <laughs> It's awesome. This one was sticking out of the ground. <laughs> well, I guess I found out where they're throwing all their britches because just a few <laughs> inches away from that Shirley, I got this big old buckle. So, then what he's saying, this is he thinks this is a corset strap. I see what he's saying. All these mm -hmm. little fasteners. Cool, man. Yeah. Look at that, I think I got a Sun Baker button. That's fun. What does it say? Gunner thinks I need a stick for this, obviously. Capital brand. L and W and Sons or something. All right, I got some more suspender. So there's a garter clip. Well, look at that. I got a piece of a spoon handle or something. It's a nice decorative one. This is possible. That's sterling. Yeah, I don't think so. Dang, Dinwiddie had to take off. He's going to be so jealous. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, let me get a little water. This looks like it's gonna be a Merc dime. That's awesome though. All right, that's a beaut. It's looking like 1940. So that suspender or whatever it is still has leather on it. Man, this place is really kicking butt. And some more silverware. Awesome. Well. What a nice little hunt. That was a surprise to get that much stuff. Definitely having the fire come through helped, but also using those mini coils, I think. Man, I'm so sold on those. Seems like everywhere I go with a mini coil, I just find more and more stuff. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.